Today's topic, we are focusing on Forex chart analysis for beginners. This is my step-by-step -step routine of how I actually trade Forex. And to prove that these methods actually work, we're going to be looking at the Swiss Japanese yen trade from my signals group sent on January 3rd. So the very first thing I do is head over to the monthly time frame and reverse engineer the market. If we take a look at Swiss Japanese yen, currently the market is heavily trending towards the upside. You don't need to be a genius to know that. If we simply zoom in a little bit we want to mark fresh areas of support and resistance so i believe this is a great area of support which is basically the floor for the candlesticks every time it touches this area zone or the price level in this case it goes towards the upside and we want to do the same thing for the resistance drag this at the very top candlestick this is the new high over here we can even be fancy and quickly mark the resistance for the monthly and we can do the very same thing for the support last but not least you might want to mark a nice little trend as we can see every single time it touches the trend it goes towards the upside this is pretty much all we need from the monthly let's head over to the weekly time frame so here's what the weekly time frame looks like we can see see the monthly resistance we can see the support we can see our monthly trend heading towards the upside what's important we had a bullish engulfing candlestick of the weekly area of support telling us there is a lot of buying pressure then we had a nice little candlestick shooting towards the upside because the candlestick wick or if you want to call it the tail of the candlestick is bigger than the body this tells me there's a lot of selling pressure in this area zone and it could be for two reasons the first reason could be the trend line over here where the candlesticks have formed and simply retesting the trend or it could be this area of resistance over here one of the other works both ways so at the moment we have a solid weak weekly downtrend over here but also a solid area of weekly resistance we can once again write weekly resistance and weekly downtrend and there we go this is what it looks like on the forex charts last but not least i like to find a mid-range zone on the weekly time frame and to simply put it it's either the support or resistance as we can see previously was a nice area resistance pushed down after a break it respected it and pushed the market further up acted as a support area level if it breaks down again it becomes resistance you get the point so now our forex analysis is beginning to look a little bit more complicated but don't you worry trust me i'll take you out through the process and now we need to identify what's currently happening we are seeing a lot of higher highs and higher lows how can we spot it well the first push towards the upside or i like to call it a push is our new higher high and exhaustion is to the previous area of sensitivity which is our new higher low and as we can see another push towards the upside makes a new higher level and another push towards the downside is retesting the previous area zone now logically since the overall market direction is bullish for the swiss japanese yen we should be expecting another push towards the upside to potentially retest the monthly area of resistance just over here so since the market is currently stuck in this weekly area of resistance level we need to wait for a breakout or you can head over to the lower time frames and try to find a trading setup from there so let's delete that and head over to the daily and take a look there's a lot more candlesticks since one candlestick is now representing one day instead of a week or a month and we can see a lot more price action which makes our analysis a tad bit more accurate now if we just zoom in we don't really need much on the daily time frame to be fair we need to find a place where it's likely gonna turn around now to find the place you could potentially mark areas of kind of push exhaustion what i mean by that is a push exhaustion over here previously respected this area line as we can see now this was an area resistance pushes towards the upside respects the resistance of weekly and weekly downtrend pushes the market further down to respect what the previous area of support because the resistance was broken it becomes a nice support level over here so simply now you can mark this area of potential turnaround zone and go to the lower time frames to confirm your bullish price action so this is the weekly time frame as we can see there's a ton of candlesticks over here and a lot of action is happening this is great because you want to be entering on the four hour time frame especially if you're swing trading where you can do the same analysis when scalping if you're downgrading maybe from four hour to one hour to 50 minute to five to one to find the exact entries this way now if we zoom in on the four hour time frame 
takes a while. We can see that currently the market is pushing towards the upside, then we have something to aim for. What do I mean by that? Well, if we take a look at this previous area of sensitivity, right? This was an area of resistance, right? Previously, every single time it touched, it pulled the market further down. And even with this candlestick over here, although it closed above the area of resistance, while well, the candlestick was actually running, it touched this area of support level that we marked on the daily time frame. And I know I put the line over here, but let's change it to a zone because it's just more clearer. So now if we take a look at my first signal, we sent it 1446 at 167893. So let's try to find this area level. At the moment, this is 2 p.m. candlestick. So it would be wise to head over to the hourly time frame to see where we exactly enter the trade. So let's just do that. And there we go. And here's my entry position over here. This is where the candlestick was at that time. Currently, it had a slight pullback, but the reason of entry was because we broke out this previous area zone right as you remember a push exhaustion scenario so a push exhaustion and another push breaking past these previous area highs so this told me great we're likely going to push towards the upside and we initially aimed for around this area zone since this was the previous area of trend and also this was a weekly area of resistance zone potentially you should be aiming for around this area however we aim for 160 pips and after you do this forex top down analysis or reverse engineering i like to add moving averages just to see if i'm right so i always use the 200 the 20 moving average and the 50 simple moving average and if you take a look my analysis was definitely correct we broke out this previous area zone but not only that we broke out the 50 moving average and when the 50 moving average breaks typically it means there is a trend reversal what's also important the 20 moving average is curving and heading towards the upside it's likely gonna cross the 50 which means that the overall market direction trend is currently going to be bullish this is what the four hour time frame moving averages looked like uh it didn't break the 20 moving average however it bounced off the 250 moving averages so i thought okay well we can at least aim for over here which is around 100 pips and if the market will continue moving towards the upside it's likely going to retest maybe the monthly area of resistance just over here past the weekly resistance where we take our profit but potentially monthly resistance will be tested where you can actually hold on the trade and just continue trading for further pip gains another thing to mention there was a beautiful chart pattern called a double bottom as we can see this was the first bottom this was the second it looks like a w uh letter as we can see a push exhaustion push exhaustion kind of push and the reason this pattern is strong is because after the neckline is broken of the w so as we can see kind of pushes makes w and this is the neckline to be broken once the candlesticks break the neckline which happened over here it means likely bullish pressure will continue and to measure the take profit of the double bottom because every chart pattern has a certain take profit level obviously not every time you're going to collect the exact take profit but the principle is still there you take the neckline and the double bottom first and second bottom and you add it where the break has happened so it's telling us that the take profit should be here for this double bottom move which is the monthly area resistance now we are taking profit on the weekly area resistance which is much earlier which means likely there's not going to be as many sell orders over here pushing the market down but there's going to be a lot of sell orders of this monthly area resistance trust me the big money that pushed the market definitely look at these levels so you should too so let's come back to the hourly time frame now zoom in we can even mark the trend over here and let's see what actually happened with this trade well clearly the next candlestick was bullish instantly making us money and after as we can see they touched this area of weekly kind of trend over here started to pull back towards the downside that's totally fine and reasonable you can collect your profits maybe you can wait for another exhaustion back to the previous area of sensitivity for re-entry it really is up to you how you risk manage but this trade really done well and as we can see pulled back a little bit kind of touched the 20 moving average started to consolidate a little bit nice little breakout again this four hour candlestick showing the lower shadow over here telling us that likely this is gonna break and push the market further down and let's see what happens it continues 
just further going towards the upside breaking past this weekly area of resistance we did have slight pullbacks as we can see once we touched pulled back such kind of pulled back but it broke past the weekly without much of a problem and then it continued moving up and i just want to see whether it's going to respect the monthly resistance and it does as we can see once it touched this area line strong bearish candlestick pushing the market down even breaking the moving averages and even the moving average crossover here telling that the market is currently in a bearish cycle and believe it or not for each of my signals i did this exact same process and we are absolutely dominating the market a ton of client reviews and results are posted monthly as well you can learn past challenges and earn with my signals i'm not 100 perfect but hey at least i stick to what works right so if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy this one over here this is for the london and new york trading strategy it uses a simple indicator it's quite beginner friendly and i'm 100 sure you'll find value in this video take care my name's elders have a wonderful day stay safe and goodbye